welcome back to the spell where hopefully nothing bad happens and it looks like we're going back to clay yes i know he needs to change don't you didn't know that where is he, is he going getting all the all that money from anyway didn't your parents leave you money? What about the inheritance? What tells you he isn't the manipulator? Uh, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Class is about to start anyways. Emily wanted to interject, but the bell rang just as it Lois protested it would. That was the first real fight that Lois had ever had with her best friend. That's because he had a gun! It doesn't matter! She was not happy right until she entered Steve's car. She'd been pouting about the conversation she had with Emily uh, earlier. But, and she will probably be even less happy the moment Steve tells her about his new job, or so she thought. What? Well, what did you... What? You don't get... You didn't get the job? Despite being the one forcing him to find a job in the first place, she sounded rather happy. No, oh, but that was a good pretext. Pretext for to further my argument. A pretext? Okay, I want to know. Did he or did he not get the job? <laughs> she was apprehensive of what he meant by that. The teacher you knew. The one you met, we met at, at the supermarket earlier. The, the week I met her. She'll be babysitting you for an hour today. Why? What? what? <laughs> I know, I'm a little confused too! Okay. Good sight here. He's a lady killer. That's a good thing. On the other hand, I'm thinking if that's a wise choice or not. I actually don't know. <laughs> God dang it. She couldn't believe her eyes. Everything in that s sentence was reprehensive. A babysitter. She was being babysat sitting herself since she was eight and Miss Roxanne on the top of that <laughs> okay I can kind of agree with you on that I've been babysitting myself for god knows how long I learned how to make cereal when I was a child do you think I cannot babysit myself yes I know how to cook very roughly <laughs> yeah is it chuck shit in microwave <laughs> There's a microwave down here. You look a fire pit. <laughs> she didn't like her. She didn't want to be alone with her. She's a liar. How do you know? But why? And when? And just why? Because I need to go somewhere at 5.30. And because I need to go somewhere. <laughs> At least he gave her an answer, followed up by another answer. I can take care of myself. You said you were scared of being alone in, in that apartment, though. Ah, good. Let me come with you. Can't. She needs to be with you, because I'll. In. In eight. In meeting process by 
finding her a gift. Okay, he's actually planning. At least he's thinking. I know what he's planning. He's going. For, he's going for the gor girl, man. Come on. There's no way anyone can get mad at this. He's going for the girl, damn it. What he just said was really, really creepy. She thought she no longer joked at the possibility of him being a robot. She was scared that it actually was the case. What does that even mean? I won't be. It won't. I won't be long. You do it for me, all right? Okay, he. On one hand, I want to be a bro. Like, god damn it! <laughs> I want to be a bro for this guy. Like, come on. <laughs> Till shit goes down, then the bro card will be st will start to get revoked. <laughs> It's the first time he actually asked for her, asked her for anything. So, of course, she's going to say, All right. <laughs> the other thought would have been, No, I don't wanna. <laughs> it's me. He <laughs> jumps out the window. You can't stop me. Oh yeah, I made him a crazy German surgeon! <laughs> God damn it! Steve said you were not feeling very well, and he didn't want to leave you alone. Well, he was going away, so that was why he asked me to, to look after you. Okay, how old is this kid? Is she like 12 or 13? <laughs> I need to know! Science needs to know! <laughs> He's really worried about you. You must be very happy. Do you have someone like him looking out for you? Well, that depends. <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> I don't want you to kill me. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Roxanne took a single step inside the apartment. And there she was, already smelling exclusively, trying to be friendly. But was one of many things that Lois didn't like about her. A teacher is trying to be friendly? Good. People need to die. <laughs> no, I, uh, nothing! <laughs> Showing my true personality. <laughs> no. People who always smile seem to be holding something, or so she's hiding something else, so she thought. I'll be going then. I've already prepared dinner, so please help yourself, and thank you again for listening to my selfish request. Okay. <laughs> I have to at least give props to this dude and try to hit it with the ladies. I'm giving him props on that. Steve was smiling at Roxanne. His eyes closed, just like a saint. No, no, wait, no, wrong voice. <laughs> No, it's disgusting. She was one of my students, so at the least, I could do. I can do, and you didn't have to prepare dinner for us. I would have had myself handled it myself just fine. I'm sure you would know. You would now. If you if you will excuse me, and sweetheart, uh, I see where. Okay, it's practically clear at this point that he's getting with her. He looked at Elos, his eyes returning to their lifeless state. 
But for a second, what is he planning? Stay strong, all right. No, I don't want to. Where's the closest door that's open and unlocked? She didn't know what sense since he meant. Those words probably try uh, probably try to survive for an hour with that witch, or at least that's what she wished he meant. He left coldly. The two girls looked at each other awkwardly. Finally, Miss Roxanne exclaimed. Yeah, uh, best time to run! Run now, child! <laughs> Let's eat! <laughs> Don't make me eat you too! <laughs> okay, now we're getting closer to the full body shot here! <laughs> they stand in front of each other. <laughs> As we have a lowest freaking out, <laughs> trying to grab the closest gun or blunt object. <laughs> I, to think Steve would have a thing for Miss Roxanne. Well, I only hoped it was not reciprocatory. <laughs> That's good. Very good. I'm genuinely impressed. <laughs> By what? <laughs> that I'm wearing a unicorn? <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> this unicorn's bullying me. <laughs> God dang it. Why was that my first reverse action? Please help me! It's bullying me! Ah! It just starts freaking. Miss Roxanne said, thinking, taking the first bite of the meat, sat out before her. Eggbait cook! That's the, that's the kind of man I would all for. <laughs> God. <laughs> the Germans. <laughs> Oh god, she's German. How do we know that she's not gonna have mad scientists? Shit. Oh fucking no. The future looking grim for a loss. No, she had something else to stress about. Him having a girlfriend. A girlfriend. She didn't like no less. God damn it. Well, you can't like anyone. But you can't like everyone. There. <laughs> I at least rephrased my sentence a little bit better. Who is Steve to you anyway? I mean, is he your uncle? The brother of your father, maybe? Of uh, my mother. Your mother, I see. She just starts bringing in scalpels. <laughs> I was like the number. God. God. Dang, it's always a crazy German surgeon when you least expect it. I always noticed a smile on the corner of the teacher's lips. A smile she didn't know about. Why did you accept Steve's request? Don't you have a lot to a lot of work to do? What uh, what do you mean? Uh, you know, I would have I would help any any way I can. But everything that happened that happened to you. I know that we went especially we weren't especially close, but I always liked you. Are you not happy to see me? <sighs> okay, I, first I saw that, I was like, it's like, yes, I'm not happy, and she was smiling, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy, I guess. <laughs> I know, my, my first instinct was, well, you're fucked, kid. <laughs> Have fun. Maybe she wasn't as bad as she thought. She would be. Maybe a girlfriend could change him in a good way. If Lois could do it alone, 
maybe two of them. Good. <laughs> to be honest, you've been on my mind for some time now. Such a uh, tragedy. What happened? Uh, bad shit happened. <laughs> I don't want to go into it. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope all of you have a great and wonderful time, and I will be reading this next episode, bruh. So don't worry about it. I will be reading this entire uh, paragraph next episode. So, see you guys next time, and I hope all of you have a great, wonderful time, and a great day, too. And I'll see you guys next time.